And we're up. Last live of the week. Big awaiting one with uh, some racing driver you guys must have heard of. Yo, Maxi, ask to, uh, to join. I think you, got, you get a bar there that you can ask to join. <laughs> he says, yo. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Boom. Here he comes. There he is. And there Boom. we are. There we are. Max, what's up, man? Ah, not too bad, mate. It's all, all good, all good. Just at home. How about you? How's, how's life in Monaco? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Nice, nice temperature. Um, it should be hot there now, huh? Um, it's like 24. It's, it's okay. But I mean, when it's sunny over here, like, it feels quite a bit warmer anyway. So, uh, cool, man. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cool. Decent. Dude, the first thing I wanted to ask you is, man, you, because you guys were in Australia deep in the paddock. Was your race suit already on when you heard, like, it's all off? <laughs> Um, well, you know, so the, the night before I was in the, the hotel and, um, I couldn't, I couldn't really sleep because of the jet lag. So I, I think I received like a text at like, like 12 or one o'clock that, um, no, it was at 12. I think Lando texted me that, uh, one of their like team members were, was yeah, tested yeah, positive. Yeah. And I was like, okay, I think this is going to be a problem. And then very quickly afterwards, um, I think I got a text from, from Christian, first of all, about like, yeah, they're meeting like urgent now, like urgent meeting. And I was like, mm, I don't, yeah, it doesn't Minutes, sound that good. Like midnight? Yeah, like two o'clock or something in the night. Crazy. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, I'll go to bed. I'll just sleep because, I mean, you want to be yeah. ready for the day after. You never yeah. know what's going to happen. But then, yeah, in the morning, they're like, yeah, we're not sure. They're talking. And uh, it still took a while, you know, before the, the yeah, decision. Yeah, yeah. So I was about to leave the the hotel like i completely like dressed up like yeah kid like my my shirt cap on you know um and i was going down the the elevator and then i got the call that it was off so i basically took the other uh, elevator back up and i yeah, started <laughs> and you got on a flight straight away out of there uh yeah 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 cuz i talked with uh, with rubens this week as well and he was there too cuz he was racing the whatever the australian formula championship or whatever and man, he was actually dressed up like he was meant to be go driving and cars were fired up, everything. And then just like, nah, it's all off. Crazy, man. Insane. Yeah, it, yeah, it's crazy. It was, it was, yeah, it was a crazy feeling. I mean, we all want to drive and, you know, we all love racing. But yeah, at one point you were like, I'm not sure if this is right yeah, now you know, sure. to do it. But then did still, seven, you, know, you did don't seven want to... Kimi, did Seven Kimi really leave? I don't know. I have. I don't. I've <laughs> never asked them or whatever. So I, I. I. don't know. Probably maybe they knew it a bit earlier or whatever, and they were. They made the, their decision to to leave. But I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Fun. Jesus. Hey man. Uh, some some of the, like all all of you guys. I think you know. But uh, we're doing a lot of sim racing right now, and yeah. Max Max has helped me out a little. Well, helped me out by kicking my ass basically, very hard. And the first thing I want to say is to our, because we share the same team, uh, Team Redline. So, yeah. Dom, if, if you're watching, uh, I want a pay rise, okay? <laughs> From zero to 10 euros, because I'm no longer spinning every two laps. So, that's an improvement. So, I want a pay rise. I'm still not in the max level, but, uh, but I'll get there. Uh, but yeah, it's all about the kit. It's all about the gear. You when know. I have no excuses now anymore, because now I have the proper the proper gear. So uh, okay. okay, and we did the not in the same car, but we did the 24 hours of Le Mans together last year in two separate cars. And oh man, that, your, your that was keyboard. my first experience. That was my first like honest sim racing experience, dude. What a disaster! And the worst is I dropped you, my keyboard. You learned a lot from it, though. Yeah, for sure, man. It's crazy now with how much I've been doing. I realize how shit I was actually last year. You know. And the thing is, I sent it all away when I dropped the keyboard and I got us out of the server. <laughs> what a disaster. But your yeah, car I mean, was yeah. eventually kicked out as well with like the internet yeah. problem. Yeah, yeah, server issues. But I mean, the car was very fast. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, it's fun. Like for me also, let's, the first time I... Let's see if we I, get I, another, another chance at it. Yeah, well, I mean, like the first time I did an endurance race online, like it's the same. Like you make mistakes. Like you spin. Like you have to yeah. learn how to drive because it's not like 
um, like a one hour, one half hour race, whatever, like it's like where you go flat out most of the time. It's it's a bit different, like traffic management as well, judging yeah, yeah, the gaps. Sure, and stuff. Like, it's very like I was not used to it. So, but dude, you're uh, like you're good. like uh, like top ten good these days on sim racing. Sometimes depends what car though. <laughs> it depends, like some cars, it just don't see. He gets you. guys. He gets angry as well when he loses. I can tell you. I heard of it. Of course, of course. <laughs> if, if the day, the day I don't get angry anymore. Yeah, about, no, like, sure. You know, lose. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stop because then yeah, you're, agree. you know, you're not motivated. I get ang enough, I get I angry as well, but I hide my angriness. You know, because it's I'm not yeah, good you, enough you, to get angry. So. <laughs> Yeah, you were laughing most of the time, so well, I guess that's the I way do. of hiding. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, there's also a cool story that we, we had together. Is uh, You know, when uh, you had the little incident uh, with Ocon in Brazil, then you had to come to a Formula E race uh, yeah. to be a steward. And, uh, and actually, in qualifying, my team at the time did a problem, so I had to go to the steward. And I walk in the steward's room and Max is there in the corner. And I'm, I'm like there giving all my driver excuses. <laughs> and you're like just watching and like, yeah, fair enough. And then that was the day I crashed with my teammates uh, when I was leaving. And uh, yeah. the, first, the first text I got was from Max. <laughs> Dude, it's okay. No problem. Keep pushing. Blah, blah. It can happen. I mean, I've, I've had it myself. Yeah, we, well, we know that. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, it shouldn't, but shit happens. Happen. Exactly. But the man. most the most important thing was that you were quick, you know. Yeah, that's that's, that's what I took away from it actually, you know. That's that was good. And this year I got my revenge there, so it's uh, okay. How's um how's things with the team and the factory? When are you guys about, uh, allowed back in the team? Whatever. Um. So beginning of June, I think they're all they, yeah they will all start again. Um. But in in England now, I think um in June again they they like um. It's going to be a bit tricky to enter for us. Like, apparently, if you enter, you have to go into, like, a two-week quarantine. Um, I don't know from what what date it exactly is, but somewhere in June. Um, so, I don't know about, like, sim dates at the moment, how how we can do that, um, if that rule, of course, comes in. So, um, it's all a bit a bit unknown, but at least, you know, the factory, the guys who are all in England already, they can just, you know, start working and... Yeah, yeah, we have we've had a few calls. Um, we even had like one big call with the whole team on Zoom, so it was nice. <laughs> you know, it's it's good. Uh, yeah, you can yeah. see like all the people from the the factory like tuning in was like it's, I don't know at one point like eight hundred people or something online. No, is Simon yeah. Rennie still involved in the race team or he's just doing uh, development? Simulator, yeah, he's, uh, ah, he's running the yeah. sim. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, ah, cool, cool. Uh, Basically, cool... when uh, Daniel left, he he moved to he the simulator there. department. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I was there for a few years and I did a lot of sim more than anything. Uh, but once I left, I left the sim room to go for lunch on the top floor. And it's right yeah. in front of Christian's uh, office. And I was leaving the room and uh, Buemi was there the day before and I beat his lap time, whatever. But you know how it is with the sim keeps changing every day and you just end up going quicker. So I, I left the sim and I go head to head with, with Christian. So I was like, hey, how's it going? I was like, yeah, just, just beat the track record. He said, which one? The arrow test one. You know? <laughs> no way. And Adrian was listening too. So straight away, I went from being semi-confident to completely down. <laughs> All confident. the way down. <laughs> Get my lunch. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, and I, I, I gave up trying to, to go for impressive. the record. Yeah. Well, it's like, you no, know, they, they try so many different things, like, you know, yeah. as you know. Um. But you know, like all the, the young guys, of course, yeah. they, they get in there and exactly. they that try was to me. like... Yeah. That was me, exactly. Are oh, you exactly. still young now? You're still young now. No, okay. no, I was old. I'm old now. I'm old. Nah, I, 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 ra I race with like Guido van der Garden, Jan Magnussen. I race with Kevin's father, dude. It's crazy. Yeah, you but know, Guido, it's... Guido is really old. Guido, Guido is really yeah. He yeah should, Guido he should is retire. so old, man. I so old. He's I, I, you know, because... completely useless that guy. <laughs> yeah, crazy. Yeah, I spoke with him today. Actually, I don't know how he can still write on his phone, but anyway. A, I, I like his you... Insta pictures, uh, <laughs> meme, like the meme thing. He's uh... <laughs> he's more of a comedian now. Mm. Yeah, and he's also a fir first lap expert. But you know what, man? When I was with BMW, we went back to the Red Bull factory to test the simulators because we were developing the BMW sim. And I came back when after I left, like one or two years later. Mm. Dude, and I tried, and my fingerprint still worked on every door. Really? Like two, two years No later, way. They didn't, they didn't take you out of the <laughs> system? I bet you if I come back, it's still working. 
Wow. Okay. That, that's <laughs> interesting ask. because um, normally, like, if I wouldn't enter within like one or two months, my fingerprint is like deleted. So you must, I don't know um, how you just stay into the system. Maybe it's just, you know, I've, I, I was just too important for that team to. Uh... Yeah, yeah, clearly. I mean, my <laughs> fingerprints don't work anymore after one or two months. You so, don't need uh... when the door is open. <laughs> it's face recognition these days. Uh... Oh my God, man. And um, yeah, so I spoke with, uh, I spoke with Fritz today as well. The, you know, the photographer, the, yeah, yeah. Fritz, the big Fritz. The ugly and, one. Uh, yeah, that one, exactly. <laughs> and he was telling me some stories, man. But yeah, there's uh, like, uh, and Guido told me like, when at four years old, you were getting super angry, sleeping on a bunk bed and playing the PlayStation and losing and throwing you, the controller. You know that Guido, like he spent quite a bit of time at our place when I was little. When he was already semi-old. Yeah, when, so, yeah, semi-old. So he was like in his, one of the final years of go-karting and my dad was like uh, tuning the engines for him. Ah, and yeah. uh, he, he was good in go-kart. A, he was, yeah, really he was pretty decent. I mean, when you win a world championship, you are, I think, yeah. pretty good. I so, mean, the others were really shit, maybe. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, uh, Akito can kidding. definitely I'm drive. Just yeah, yeah. We 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 are just taking the piss here. Who, who cares? <laughs> I think for sure you can. No one's watching it. anyway, so it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, two thousand people is not bad. Yeah, for for us, it's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, it was funny, like, you know, I remember like when I was like a little kid and we would be playing on the PlayStation and stuff. Yeah, already back then I I could get a little bit angry losing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Dude, I want to ask you if you can tell us like, um, dude, I really want to hear it. For, we all have it, like uh, a really embarrassing, like one of these moments where you just wanted to put your head and hide. Super oh, embarrassing. I know, I know exactly. One. I know exactly what I wanted. Uh, 2016. Um, Austin. So I was driving and I was like, I don't know, P5 maybe. But it was going like quite well. I was like closing on, on like the guy in third and fourth. Um, and then we always said like, um, with my engineer, he would say like, push now, push now. And that normally meant back then, like, um, like that lap you're pitting. Because, but I yeah, knew yeah. that I had to like speed up. And he said yeah. that. And then <laughs> like I was doing my lap in Austin. And then, you know, the second to last corner, the fast left turn, I went in all good and then I just drove to the pit lane the pit entry and I drove into the corner and I realized he never called me in like no. he, he didn't he didn't tell me to pit like he, <laughs> he never said it and I was like oh my god what did I just do but then so you're, okay, you're yeah, in the pit lane at this point. I'm in the I'm in the pit lane I'm like guys I'm pitting I'm pitting I'm in the pit, I'm in the pit. <laughs> and then suddenly you see like all the guys like running out I don't know they were like taking tires like random tires and um yeah, of course, the pit stop was like eight, nine seconds or whatever. I mean, still, <laughs> considering what I did, it was still a very fast pit stop. Um, did you but, try yeah. to play it off like, guys, normally this... Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I don't know. I, I was uh, <laughs> like, okay, after the pit stop, of course, I didn't say anything because it doesn't make like sense to argue then. So I just yeah, continued. But then within like three laps, my gear, my, I don't know, something died. So my car retired. Yes. Luckily, maybe afterwards, <laughs> because can you imagine nothing happening? That, that, the race debrief, like that. that debrief would have been, uh, would have been but, crazy. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, after the race, of course, you know, having the discussion, Helmut, of course, pretty angry at me. For that. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I fucked up. Like, I, uh, <laughs> I thought he called me in. I mean, what can you say? Like, you cannot sure, hide sure. it. No, the story, you... Like I said, I made sure, a mistake. Sure. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty... That's, uh, that's why I love Helmet, because when you do well, he is the first one to tell you, but when you screw up, he's also the first one to tell you. So it's... Yeah, but then what he likes, I mean, people make mistakes. We're not robots, right? Of course, man. But you have to tell him, like, I made a mistake, or, you know, I didn't do this right. And he appreciates that, because at the end of the day, he's like a it's real It's almost like he himself. has no comeback. He, has, he, he wants to keep arguing, but, okay, that's it. Discussion yeah. over. Because he hates it when people, like, try to make excuses yeah, yeah, yeah. about why you are slow or why you made a mistake. It's just like, oh, I had a bad day or like I made a mistake. I, I fucked up. Yeah he, yeah, yeah. he appreciates that. So. Yeah. Man, I, it's a, is big Nigel still there, still in the team? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah and Oli, Sha well. Oli Shaq is in your car. Is yeah, he's my number is... two. And uh, Phil, no, well, Phil is like the, like. Um... Chief mechanic. Yeah. Well, he's, yeah, in, in between the two cars. Yeah. And, ah, and Leroy is your number one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, he's getting a, a bit funny... old now. I think uh, yeah, we have yeah. to replace him soon. You know? He's a bit slow. But he's only telling you to come out the garage and go left or right. So it's, it's yeah. Okay. I've, it's some good. He's, you know, he's like really addicted to like trainers. It's insane, right? I know. Have I you know, seen man. that? 
Yeah, it's I crazy. Know, this guy is crazy. I, he, just today, I saw something. He, he, but you know, like I have a crazy story with Leroy. Actually, I was at GP3 and I finished second or third in the championship. And we were partying in Monza, the after party of the championship. And I'm in this club. And actually, I was a little bit busy with other stuff in the club. But this guy comes to me he's like, dude, to open the I'm, drink bottles, right? Yeah. Yeah, I was my yeah, hands yeah, were yeah, busy yeah, with yeah, some yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. Uh, I was just holding all the bottles of water, you know, to offer people. And uh, he comes to me and <laughs> yeah. said, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be strapping you in in Abu Dhabi. See you later. And dude, and then a month and a half later or whatever, I was driving the F1 car in Abu Dhabi and he was strapping me in. But that's how I met him. In the, that still today, we fucking laugh about he's that. A, he's a good guy. I love him. He, yeah, like, you have I, anyway, I think my whole crew is really good. Like, yeah. I really, really enjoy yeah. being around them. They're super fast when they also need to repair the car sometimes, you know. <laughs> but uh, and, and, I mean, the whole team, like, with the pit stops is incredible. Also, like, I mean, yeah, we did the world record and stuff, right? It's crazy. But when you with see, the... like, the, the training, what they do before, yeah, right, yeah. To, to get to that point, it's, it's every pretty day. impressive. Every day in the factory, two stints, no? In the factory, yeah. every day. It's yeah. impressive. Like, and uh, it's, it's what, you know what I like? Like, obviously, I had a lot of time to, to be there and observe everything because that's, I was an observer. I was basically a reserve driver just to bring spare wings. Helmut's like, the only reason you come is to bring the spare parts, the late spare parts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah so anyway, Helmut can be rude sometimes. <laughs> I love that with this guy. Okay. But anyway, I was there. And uh, whenever a pit stop used to go wrong, Jonathan Whitley would come on the radio, but like super calm. What happened? And like trying to, mm -hmm. and you know, during the race, and it's awesome because it calms everyone down. And then when you have another one afterwards, it's uh, it's back to to the max. So it was, uh, yeah, it was it was cool, dude. Just to finish this thing off, I had some questions here that I put up to the to the guys to uh, yeah to make. So we're only gonna go on the fun ones. So the first one, I think you know who asked this is why is your nickname Mark? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly where it's coming from. Because it's I know coming... why, why, why Shane Van Gisberg. I, I know why his nickname is Pastor. We all know. He's, that. Uh, he, uh, he likes to crash into me all the time. I don't know why. Yeah. All the time when we are racing together, he just crashes into my car. Um, this, I've been racing this guy every Thursday morning, and dude, he is a he's a he's a dangerous one. He likes to crash him. Huh? Yeah. No, yes, so yes. he gave me well, the why name is it Mark. Mark? Because all the time when we crash, right, he like crashes into my car and then he blames me. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, no, I mean, come on. It's like, or Netco because he comes from Austra like Australia, New Zealand, whatever, <laughs> yeah, 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 good uh, wherever he is. Um, and of course, yeah, the net code can be pretty bad, right? And of course, sometimes I have my like little crashes with him and probably it's my fault. And then I just blame him for fun. And then, yeah, he called me Mark because I always blame someone else, he says. So. Good. Yeah, that's, and uh, then the other one is just right. Daniel Daniel Lapp complaining about my hairstyle, saying I should look more like you. But, dude, I what should I do? First of all, I'm locked up at home and uh, I surf, so I'm trying to be more of a surfer than a race driver these days. But I, I don't is know what's wrong. So... No, it's I a good it's thing. Cool. Yeah, it's yeah, cool. for sure, man. For sure, yeah. for sure, you, know, you have more girls as fans. I think. You don't want you don't want to have the hair too slick, you know. No, 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 I good. can't. I would it's never pull good. that off. There's, a, there's a, a lot of people asked if you've ever been to Portugal, if you've ever raced any track in Portugal. Have you, you, you've been, I know you've been because you were in Portimao uh, yeah. not long ago for a Aston Martin thing, wasn't it? Uh, well, just some private testing on the track, just track days. So, ah, with the um, F1 car? No, 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 just uh, my own cars, the race cars. So. Ah, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Cool. A ah, GT3 cool. car. So, ah, so you brought them here and you were you were doing. Yeah. Uh, but the uh, weather was bad, man. Like I. I when was like, this? I I know. I remember. I, I wasn't here, um, but I spoke to you. Was it February or something? Yeah, something like that. It's like it's normally okay, but yeah, we also everyone says uh, oh, I never I had a bad day. Yeah, it never. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we have rain. I was there, and yeah, uh, for one rain. and a half days I was driving in the wet. I mean, it, it's still a great track. I really love driving it. it was the first Maybe time saved I was you, there. Saved you a bit of money with tires. Well, I can tell you, even the wet tires were going up quite quickly. So you have to put new tires there as well. <laughs> <laughs> Every run, new tires. I mean, I like to go fast, right? So when you stay on the old tires, it's not, not working. Yeah, yeah. Man, the first test ever I did with F1 was the last, uh, was the last day of Bridgestone uh, with Force India. And so my, I had 11 runs that day and 10 runs were on new tires. It was the last day. So they were just giving me the... And the one run I did without new tires and they had, were three laps old, I was complaining. No, I don't like. <laughs> you know, we, we always yeah. want the, the new, yeah. the new rubber. 
I even um, actually I drove in Portimao on the go kart track as well. I had so, I had one or two. I've race. done one or two races there. Yeah, it's cool though. I've yeah, only been good. one. Good. Yeah, yeah. So, good. Someone said here that you have a Portuguese rugby shirt hang on your wall. No. Portuguese rugby shirt. Yeah, maybe they saw something wrong. I have to check that, but I'm not sure. I, I don't <laughs> no, think so. If you don't know, then no. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> and then there, there's a there's a good one here, which is um, what is your most useless talent? Something you're really good at that uh, you will never. Use wait, useless talent. Uh, probably sim racing then, because I spend too much time. Oh, That's I've not so useless, much... man. <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I can I can pour water for, to a glass from like a meter high without dropping it. I think that's really. Fine. I'm I, quite um, proud of it actually. I don't know. I really have to. Someone said here one. Rocket League. <laughs> Ro I I've never played it in my life. I you never League. played it. Uh, I don't know because. No, I don't know. I I really um, I for example I hate. Well, I let's say no. I love playing tennis, but I'm really bad at it. Yeah, and it's not a like talent. with golf, I'm completely useless, so I don't enjoy it. But I don't know, I don't really have a talent or what I think is like useless. So you, Otherwise, it's already like something is, I can't. Is driving and it's use, it's very useless. It's very you, it's very use, good actually. It's useful, very, yeah. At usable, the moment, it's, yeah. Useful, that's the word. Yeah. So <laughs> it's it's or that or I'm just completely useless at, at something. So yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. No, then, no, you use this talent for me. And then someone here asked, "Do you think other drivers are scared of you?" <laughs> they should be. No, uh, they should be. no, they they are not. I mean, so, um, I think everybody respects each other. No, no, um, yeah. Everybody, yeah. everybody knows exactly what uh, everyone's skill is as well, right? So yeah. No, but no, I mean, in F one, in F one, nobody is scared. I mean, everybody no, no, no. thinks they're the best anyway, so no, what, you need to be a little bit <laughs> arrogant, right? What happens anyway is like when I think when, you know, people want to prove themselves and yeah, it, it's how it is. It's a pissing contest, yeah. but it's good for us at home. I love seeing you guys crashing and stuff. So, uh, <laughs> you know, never feel bad for it. I, I, do the same, I, uh, I love watching Formula E. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do a lot. So, uh, I crash a lot. All the, all the parts flying off on the track. <laughs> it's good. It's so it's good. good. Some guys are better than others, but mm. yeah. And then it's, it's fun the, to watch, man. Yeah, it's some good racing. A bit of it's like it's like a bit of wheel banging. A, a, yeah, a lot of wheel banging. It's like when you go rental go karts with your buddies and you don't care. We care, yeah. but we still hit. So yeah, I could see that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we're not we're not paying for the spare parts. You can tell. No. Yeah. Otherwise, I think it would have been like super clean, no touching. I think <laughs> in every yeah. category. Yeah, for sure. DTM was crazy, man. A door is worth like 15k, and we're just and they are good enough to last the whole the whole year. And dude, we were just banging doors like. Well, Timo likes to drive without the door, right? He just takes it out when he jumps out. Yeah, yeah. He, he just for the um, airflow is better. Yeah, he likes it. He's uh, old he's a small as well. guy anyway, you know. He's old as well, so he needs a bit of extra air in there. Uh, and then the last one I want to ask you is actually a good one. Is your best battle on track ever? Go karts, F three. Well, I actually, I actually saw one that I was really impressed at the time. But anyway, you say it first. Best battle? Wow, that, um, it's tricky, man. To think when, about when was it in F three Spa that someone overtook ah, you? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it felt like they had the, the line, they had the corner, and then you just. Nailed it through the outside, around the outside into Lecom, and that was yeah, that move that was, was. Yeah, that was good. I mean, F three anyway. That that car is just amazing to drive. It was so yeah. much fun. It was it, it was a little a little bit underpowered, but still, it was so much fun to drive. Um, that was that was a good battle. That was a yeah. good. Who was it with Ocon? No. Yeah, it was Esteban and uh, I don't know yeah, the other guy. Was someone, yeah, it was someone else? Maybe Blomquist. I don't know. They, I need to watch it back. What yeah. it was, but, but that was, yeah, it was good, good. That's when I. That's when I thought, okay, maybe this guy is. He's good. <laughs> it was satisfying as well when I came out like in front. You know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like yeah. okay, I didn't expect that to happen, but it, it, luckily it uh, it worked. So, yeah. I mean, in F three, I had some really good battles anyway. Like yeah, that was a good year. That was a good year. Yeah. Where Where did you finish? Third that year. Yeah, third. But 
I uh, remember Nurburgring uh, yeah. when uh, you you had to change the engine that 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 and, weekend screwed your yeah, and then three times you have to start like ten places back as well yeah. after that. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It just I think that was your like, first your weekend with a Red Bull livery, and yeah. you had straight away that good start. Yeah, yeah it was you know, you know a bit of fireworks. <laughs> I was having yeah, I was having dinner with not that that day, but some other day when I was in Brazil for as a reserve, and I went for dinner with uh, seven helmets. And we yeah. were having a chat, and, and Seb, Seb was always really nice to me, and he was always pushing, saying, so Helmet, so next year, Toroso is, uh, is Max, and who is the next driver? It's Antonio, no, it's done, no, it's... Uh, like, he was always, he was just for fun, like, pushing Helmet. And then we yeah. got to the point in the conversation where, like, so Helmet, I asked Helmet, who was your cheapest driver of all time? Like, to, because the Red Bull Junior team, you know, they invest in drivers, and the good ones, they, they make it. And I asked, who was your cheapest one, the one that cost you? And he said... He signed you like one month before that. Max Verstappen. I ba barely yeah. had to spend money with him and now he's in F1. Yeah, so and I were... keep reminding him every day. <laughs> <laughs> I think he knows. I think he knows. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, yeah, he yeah. knows. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it's, it's true though because I mean, I didn't really like spend a lot of time in, in like junior team or whatever. Like and... three, three months max. Yeah. 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 But I mean, it's good times. It's, yeah. it's fun. Nah, bro. Look, man, thanks a lot for doing this. Uh, I can tell, uh, you know, I, I've seen a lot of drivers and friends getting to F1 and becoming big and becoming dickheads. And, uh, you know, I texted you and you, you replied to me within two minutes saying you do it. So, man, thanks a lot. No you, worries. Uh, yeah, just make sure when you win your first world title, you, you don't talk shit to me, okay? We, we do it again, right? When that yes. happens. All right, deal. Cool. That's the deal. And and guys, just so you know, uh, yeah, me and me and Max and some other guys are doing are doing something uh, online. And this guy, 8 a.m., is already texting. And when are we text testing and this and that? So he's not only pushing on the racetrack, but he also breaks everyone's balls uh, to be quick uh, in whatever we do. So uh, he's a champ. You keep pushing, always, man. You don't stop. See you later, bro. Right. Thanks, yeah. man. See you later. Cheers. Bye. Bye, man.